<laughs> we are talking about behavior on the show. Oh, if you need some advice when your child is not behaving in public, well, we've got our parenting expert in our studio this morning. Now, for many parents today, dealing with their child's bad behavior in public settings has become a regular and a major problem. Taking them out to restaurants and uh, hotels often leads to disaster as their children cause havoc, they throw tantrums, and often leads to a lot of embarrassment for the parent. Now, this morning, we speak to creative parenting expert Nikki Bush about how to deal with your child's bad behavior in these public settings. And uh, I don't know, back in my day, Nikki, <laughs> I say back in my day because I'm so old, but you know, it, it never used to be a thing because my grandmother was always like, Pah! and it settled everything. But what are we seeing these days? So hoteliers and restauranters are complaining of the fact that children are wreaking havoc in their restaurants. Mm. They, are, they have no respect for other people's privacy and they are damaging property and they're creating a lot of noise and disruption. Mm -hmm. And what they're really alluding to is the fact that parents have no control over their children. Is that why this is happening? Just that the basics of the parent-child relationship doesn't exist from home? Well, it's not that it doesn't exist, but the boundaries have not been put in place. And the social skills of how to behave in public have not been incrementally built over time. Mm -hmm. Because these things do take time and good behavior in public starts with good behavior at home. Mm -hmm. And what we're finding a lot is that very busy parents take their children out to restaurants a lot more than um, older parents ever used to. Mm -hmm. And in that situation, they're wanting downtime, and so they abdicate responsibility for their children. Now, if you're in a family-friendly environment, that's fine. Okay. But if you're not, you cannot give up responsibility for your children. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're infringing on other people's rights. Absolutely. So how then do parents uh, you know, handle these situations if you find yourself in that kind of public setting and the situation happens? What do you do? So you have to A, be consistent. Be consistent. And if you say, we're going to leave this restaurant if you badly behaved, you've actually got to follow through. Other, otherwise, children don't respect you. And sure, they will but have these made reservations that have lasted months and months and now... You see, at the end of the day, if you're going <laughs> to be in a restaurant with your children, mm -hmm. hopefully you want to be with them. Okay. If you don't want to be with them, go to a family-friendly one where you can palm them off on the caregivers or a family-friendly hotel where there's a kiddies <laughs> program. But if you're actually going to be in a space where you have to take responsibility, you have to be emotionally present. Hmm. The minute you are not on the page, your children will go and do something to get your attention. Yeah. So it's understanding that children will resort to negative attention-seeking behavior if you're not paying attention to them. Yeah. And then sometimes you, you get the situation where a parent might even take the child off to the side right there and spank them right in front of everyone there, yeah. which is, 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 is embarrassing for the child and, and for the parent for the as well. And for the public. Good. So has yeah. the whole adage of yeah. spare the rod, spoil the child fallen away? In some senses it has. If you're going to discipline your child, you must remove them from the area, from the public eye and go and do it in the car mm -hmm. or outside or go into the toilet. Um, don't do it right there and then in public, but you do need to be firm. Yeah. So you do need to pick that child up and walk out. Mm. So consistency is so much important and of course that emotional engagement. We'll continue our chat with creative parenting expert Nikki Bush a little bit later on.